Whether you're learning to code or practicing the skills you've already learned, coding games offer a fun and challenging way to level up your programming skills. Coming up, I will share with you more than 10 of my personal favorites. These will be a combination of websites and software for all ages that will help to teach you the basics of coding or reinforce what you already know. Let's get started. Let's start off with the websites for beginners. As the video progresses, we'll move on to the more advanced sites. Following the websites, I'll show you the gaming software. First up is Hour of Code. They offer one hour tutorials and activities for all ages in 45 languages. There's activities for Minecraft, Star Wars, and many others. All are completely free. You can even create your own Flappy game. When you click on an activity, it will give you a description, including the experience level needed to complete that activity. To begin, click on Start. Watch the video first, then close it out. Like many of the exercises, this activity teaches the basic concepts of coding. Just follow the instructions to complete each exercise. CodeMonkey is another one for beginners. It uses a real programming language called CoffeeScript to teach you how to build your own games in HTML5 with no previous experience needed. It's geared towards kids, but might be worth checking out if you're an adult that is new to the world of programming. Most activities will be locked when you first get started. Completion of an activity opens a new one. CodeMonkey offers a 14-day free trial to try it out, with plans starting at $4.95 per month. For those of you interested in web development, Flexbox Froggy teaches the basics of alignment using CSS code. In the 24 levels, your goal is to move the frogs to the lily pad using the justify content property. They give you the code for the first level, which is justify content, flex end. When the frog is on the lily pad, click on next. They do get more difficult as you move through each level. Flexbox Defense is similar to the previous site I showed you using the Justify Content property to practice CSS. The goal on this one is to move the towers to an effective position to destroy the incoming enemies. There's a total of 12 levels and you'll be using the same values as Flexbox Froggy. In this example, center would be the appropriate value. When your towers are in position, click on Start Wave. Code Combat is another website aimed at kids with tools for educators, but can be used by anyone of any age. To begin, hit the play button. If you've played older RPG games, Code Combat has a similar look. Click on the play button to enter Kithgard Dungeon. Complete the mini quests to move forward in the game. You'll start here in the lower left at the Dungeons of Kithgard. This is where you can choose your hero and the programming language you'd like to learn. Your choices are Python, JavaScript, and CoffeeScript. I'll go with Python. Now just follow the instructions to continue. If you want to try out Code Combat, its core levels are free. If you go with the Code Combat Premium Plan, they give you additional perks, including the ability to unlock new heroes and access to more than 300 levels for $9.99 per month. Coding Game is perhaps my favorite of all the websites mentioned so far. More than 25 programming languages are supported, including JavaScript, Ruby, and Python. If you know the basics of programming, Coding Game will help you to expand your existing knowledge. It includes solo challenges and multiplayer games that you can play with your friends. Best of all, Coding Game is completely free. To begin, select Get Started here at the top. It will give you a brief tutorial where it will ask you to choose a programming language. There's plenty to choose from. I'll go with Ruby. It will give you a quick example of code. Just copy and paste it where it says enter the code here. 
Click on Play Test Case to run your code. Don't give up too quickly on coding game. The further along you get, the more fun it becomes. You might even become good enough to enter their international coding competitions. Check.io is another site where you can improve your skills with challenges for both beginners and advanced developers. Your choices are JavaScript and Python. Both will take you to a page that looks like this. I'd recommend that you start with elementary and select the first exercise here at the top. This will give you an overview on how to complete the activities on Check.io. While most of the features on Check.io are free, they do offer what they call an awesome member plan starting at just $2.99 per month, which gives you immediate access to all missions, stations, and solutions. Code Wars is for those of you at an intermediate to advanced skill level. It's definitely not for beginners. There are more than 20 programming languages for you to choose from. You earn points for completing puzzles, which help to improve your ranking. As you move up the ranks, you're presented with new challenges that match your skill level. They don't just let anybody sign up. Before you can join, you must complete a basic test to prove your skills. I'll go with Python. Looks like this one's missing a return in the code, which multiplies the parameters and returns them. Then hit submit. After you have completed the test, you can now sign up to Code Wars. We'll now do a rapid fire of my favorite video game software. I'll put links in the show notes if you want more information. In RoboCode, you write the artificial intelligence code for your robot. Then you watch the robot tanks fight it out. It's completely free and available on SourceForge. It launched way back in 2000 and is still updated on a regular basis. The remainder of these games are available on Steam. In Human Resource Machine, you program miniature office workers to solve puzzles. It's good for beginners, and its cost is around 15 bucks. TIS 100 is an open-ended game where you rewrite corrupted code to make repairs and unlock secrets. It's not easy and will make you want to pull your hair out. Its cost is around $7. Shenzhen IO is another puzzle game from the makers of TIS 100. On this game, you build circuits using a variety of components and write code using a simplified assembly language. Shenzhen IO will cost you around $15. And Gladiabots is another robot combat strategy game in which you construct the AI for your robots and send them into battle. It's available in both single player and multiplayer modes. Its cost is around 15 bucks and you can often find these titles discounted during Steam sales. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. If there's a website or program you'd like for us to check out, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with the latest websites, software, and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.